Hello, Whovians! Chris Bieber here, and yes, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, I'm a bit stressed right now because I have three assignments, all worth 50%, coming up very, very shortly. So that's exciting. So apologies if today's a quick video. I am human and I have stuff to do. So please give me a like for prioritizing Doctor Who over my education. But anyway, here we are talking about Rosa, Series 11, Episode 3. What's going on? What did I think? Well, find out, right? Now, Crispy, what were your overall thoughts? The subject matter was a bit more real than, you know, a monster that, you know, takes tooths and put them in his face or floating bits of cloth. We had an episode that actually looked into racism, you know, like Rosa Parks' story and how it was back then. And I feel like they did that in actually a surprisingly mature way. I was quite a fan of this episode. What was new during the episode? There wasn't actually a lot of new things in this episode. Um, we, we've now pretty much established the, the TARDIS crew um, and I'm, I'm all for it. I'm having a great time. Um, it was interesting seeing what they'd be like going back into time um that was really cool um but yeah i really enjoyed that what was your favorite scene i mean you all saw it coming but the bus scene like that that was powerful and the fact that the doctor and the companions were actually there on the bus as well i thought i thought was pretty cool um because like i mean you know the doctor makes references all the time you know oh i was hanging out with elvis presley oh yada yada i was there for this moment in history this moment in history um but it was interesting seeing what the you know the doctor and co were like um, when they're actually in a big pivotal moment in history. Also, I kind of wish they didn't use the the song they had over it. Um, like I get I get what they were going for, um, but I don't know if that song was actually made for the episode or if it was just a song that Chris Chibnall saw on Spotify. Um, but I wish they had you know something more orchestral because the the composer I'm not quite sure what his name is. Here it is right here. He's he's been doing an amazing job this season, and I really felt like they could have had something awesome in that scene. But regardless of the music, that scene is so powerful and I'm glad that, you know, Doctor Who um, is able to tell these stories like no other show can. What was your favourite quote? Can't remember exactly what the quote was like, but it was when um, Ryan was like, um, excuse me, Martin Luther King, yes, Rosa Parks. Huh. Were there any flaws in the episode? Uh, for me, once again, I feel like the pacing was a bit off. I feel like some scenes needed a bit of air and some scenes needed to like hurry up a bit. And the villain, I'm, I'm not sure what his name was. I'm going to call him Zibbity Boop. He seemed like a real toss head version of Captain Jack. Um, so, but I really, though, we didn't really spend enough time with him to actually care about him or his eventual death or displacement in time. Were there any moments that made you go, what? Well, um, since this whole season's been very fresh, um, I wasn't expecting them to name drop, you know, the, the Vortex Manipulator and Storm Cage. I love how they went into Storm Cage and, you know, kind of building this lore around what happens at Storm Cage. Um, you know, these little references to, um, you know, previous eras um, is something I wasn't really expecting in Episode 3 of the Chimnal Era, but I'm all for it. They were subtle, they weren't in your face, and I like that. Also, another moment that made me go, what? Was reading this article saying Doctor Who fans in total meltdown over controversial episode. Wow, the Rosa episode of Doctor Who is embarrassingly bad. The writing is bad, the historical inaccuracies are shocking. It's a sad study of affairs when Bradley Walsh is the best actor slash character. This is supposed to be sci-fi, not whatever this is. Doctor Who was dreadful, boring, badly written, poor acted, hated it. Three episodes in and this is well on course to becoming the most tediously boring Doctor Who so far. A female Doctor could still work, but from what I've seen so far, it's a, 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 a fest. I don't know, I was just a bit surprised because Doctor Who's been getting a lot of praise lately and I thought this episode did a fine job of, you know, being a Doctor Who episode. I'm just wondering, like, are you guys bothered by um, the historical inaccuracies? Do you think Graham is the best character and um, do you find Doctor Who so far a snooze fest? Let me know in the comments below, thank you. Did I cry during this episode? Now, this season has been giving me some surprisingly heartfelt moments that I wasn't really expecting. They really take time with these characters, um, but the moment that made me go, ooh, Oh, like it didn't make me cry, but it made me hit in the feels was when Graham was saying how much of a fan um, his wife, uh, Grace, was of Rosa and how he was like, oh, I wish she could be here. I was like, wow, they, they are really, really properly taking time with these characters and building up, you know, all, all this, all this emotion. I found that, I found that very nice. Very nice indeed. What would I give this episode out of 10? I found Rosa um, a really good, um, you know, historical episode of Doctor Who. Um, it wasn't quite on par with um, like the Vincent van Gogh story in me, um, but I feel like it was excellent. It was a bit of a conversation starter and I liked it. I will give Rosa an eight out of 10. I am loving this season, regardless of what bloody Daily Star say. 
I think it's good. But please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Rosa. Um, I'd be really interested to know. And you could end up in my next video. Um, I was going to get all the comments, um, all my favorite comments from last week's video. But I am stressed and I really have to finish this 50% assignment. So I'm going to try and bulk this video out. So sorry, I don't have time. But I promise next week I will make an effort, all right? Maybe not next week because that's when something else is due. All right, I'm going to make an effort in the future. I'm trying to get YouTube videos out. I'm breaking down. But yeah, leave your comments in the comments below and I'll look at them, I'll reply, that's what I can do. I won't feature them, but I'll reply, yes. Crispy Pro needs to de-stress. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's about it. Let me know your thoughts on Rosa. Um, have a lovely day. Do your assignments, kids, and I'll see you on the flip side. Allons-y!